here with men's hockey coach Bill Moore. Coach, it's really hard to believe that the season starts on Friday with the MIC Hockey Showcase. You guys got started in mid-October. How are things uh, for you in terms of getting ready for this weekend? Oh, we're very excited. I think right now the red-white game was a, a great opportunity for us to see the, the level of play that we were going to be at. And um, obviously our skill level is high. Um, we've, we've got some depth this year, so we're very, very excited about getting the season started. Have you had enough practice? I know we always talk about this a lot in that in that the season, it's like a two-week window, and all of a sudden you guys are already playing games. Is that enough time to get ready for a season? No. And I wish it wasn't, but it is what it is. Um, you know, we're at a little bit of a disadvantage because we have open tryouts. So that first week, we don't even get to practice. So it's all tryouts. And then we turn around and Monday to Friday, got to be ready to play in four days. But um, if it were up to me to schedule, I would not schedule this weekend. I would take another weekend to practice. But it isn't up to me. The smarter people and I make the schedule. So... Well, whatever they tell us to do, we'll be there and we'll compete hard. Well, let's talk about this year's team. Uh, you, you you lost some to graduation, not a ton of players, but uh, in terms of replacing those guys, how are you feeling about uh, about where the roster is sitting right now? We're sitting really well, and I, I couldn't be happier right now. Our forwards, we were in a good situation. Um, we have our top three lines back. Um, some of our freshmen have filled in very, very well uh, in, in role places on those lines, so we, we feel like we're four deep with anybody. Um, we'll be a little bit ex inexperienced at uh, defense right now, but they're very, very talented. Uh, right now we're looking at at least three freshmen in the top six, maybe four. Um, we'll see how it goes as, as the time goes on, but as of Friday when we start, it'll probably be four freshmen uh, in the top six of our defense. Uh, Goaltending, I couldn't be happier right now. We got Phil Heinley back, who is a former all-conference player. We got a Division I transfer in Aaron Davis um, from Lake Superior State. And uh, with Jake Hebda and, and Jake Tugnut, we're, we're pretty deep at goaltending as well. Let's look offensively first. Uh, you guys scored a lot of goals last year. You returned n probably 90% of that offensive punch, led by Martin, Gruss, and, and, and Bob Kinney. It's got to make you feel good that, as you mentioned, you're solid in goal, and yet you've got a plethora of, uh, of offensive talent. Well, I hope so. You know what I mean? You never know from year to year when the goals are going to go in and things like that. I think through the, the middle of January last year when we hit the bad streak of injuries, we were the leading scoring team in the nation. Um, I think we can be that again. I'm not. That's not our goal by any means. Our goal is to win games, but um, we are very, very blessed to have some guys that can put the puck in the net. Let's talk a little bit about this weekend. You've got uh, St. Thomas on Friday, and then you play Concordia on Sunday. Kind of a, as it's kind of dubbed, it's a little preview of what the conference is all about. Uh, what do you want to take out of this weekend, aside from two wins, because, of course, that's their, your number one goal, but what what is it that you want to see from your players this week uh, against the Tommies and Cobbers? Well, I guess you're, you're absolutely right. Our absolute number one goal, and it will be every weekend, is to take two wins. The, you know, splits for us are not going to be um, – really where we want to be. Um, we want to take wins. So that part of it is an obvious one. Um, what I really want to see is how well those freshmen on defense are going to perform. Um, I'm pretty confident that our goal, that we won't have a whole lot of rust with our forwards because they're, you know, we got a lot of senior forwards, um, but we do have to have some um, growing up, some experience time for those freshman defensemen. And, um, they're very talented, but we need to get them to, co to college ready. Let's uh, look into the crystal ball a little bit. Uh, expectations on the year. I know that the conference is very tough. We talk about that every year, about the depth of this conference. What uh, are some expectations for you this year heading into, uh, into this year? Well, our absolute number one expectation is playoffs. You know, um, We talk all the time. Conference championship would be great, but it doesn't mean squat. You don't get to go to the national tournament with the conference championship. The conference playoff championship is what we want, and that is our goal. Um, anything less than that, I think we'll have a little bit of disappointment, um, but we're going to go after it hard. I think we can compete to be champions, um, so I'm not going to promise anything because we are our conference is deep this year, and I don't think we'll be seated one, two, or three. Um, we might, who knows, but I really believe we, we can win the conference uh, if we if we put our things together and stay healthy.
Season kicks off this weekend up in Blaine, Minnesota. St. Thomas on Friday night at 7.30, then back on the ice Sunday at 2.30 at the Schwann Super Rink. Good luck this year, Coach. Thank you very much.